Grade school report card. Grade school district. Eight or nine, ten, whatever. Did they raise the state? You know, I, I don't know what the ranking is this year. Last year, we're in the top. Oh, yeah. And I was 424. I can't wait to come back. Ever move it? We're all in favor here. We're fifth from the bottom out of 424. Really? And that just came out. I know so that for a fact that's true. What does that mean? Current. You just spent well? Or? It's very, very efficient. You know, we just don't have a lot of extra people. We don't have a, we just get not much administration. The teachers in the classroom doing their job. So basically, you have teachers who really want to work. Yeah. People who really want to do their job. Great dedicated staff. Oh, I can't say that. That's what's got me here. It's my community back home with that. Really, uh, the support of education and had good people in the system. Oh, so. fantastic. Yeah, it's been a lot, of, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, so we're gonna go through the field house. Just loop you through again. On that survey, we did we did test the waters on a $22 million field house solution, and that failed miserably. People said we have a lot of good sports things. They wanted the auditorium, and that ended up being to be quite good feedback because what we built, you'll see the PAC for 9.8 million. A field house solution would have been 22 because you build a field house, big field house with many gyms, and then you still have to remodel, ban and choir, and make this an auditorium. And you're making a gym try to function as an auditorium for more than twice the price. So what we did is we re, re, uh, calculated things. We added a gym at Allenton. I was principal there. And all they had was a cafeteria. And they didn't ever have a full-time legitimate gym. We remodeled Slinger Elementary, put it in a gym with a wood floor. And now this is a full-time gym. So in my heart, we added two and a half gyms to the district. So we didn't need a field house. And now we have a legitimate the engineered auditorium that functions the way an auditorium should for about 40 cents on the dollar compared to that $22 million field house. So that was a, a, a great great feedback. That's why you send a survey, is to, is to hear people's reaction. You're going to see some mess. The, the old auditorium got painted so the gym all flows together. So we're just going to cut through into the left here. I remember seeing that. Principles is one of the first, first things I changed because invariably we have grandmothers having heat strokes sitting in the metal bleachers. We could see 1,200 people, and that train would always drive by two or three times. <laughs> we move it indoors where we can see 2,400, twice the attendees for graduation, and we're out of the sun. Yes, it's been very hot the last couple years, but now this is air conditioned with the renovation, so we'll have optimum conditions to have a very classy ceremony where you can hear the band, hear the choir, hear the, the class speakers, and not have to compete with the railroad. So, so we'll graduation will be in here, not in the PAC? No, the PAC holds 810, and with graduating classes of 250 to 280, that would mean maybe two guests a person, and I don't want to be that guy. I, I want, right now we've been able to say, bring anybody you want, and we've never, we've never run out of seating. So 20, the 2400 capacity, really has been a good number for us. So. The mezzanine is in this area is where the wrestlers practice. Right now the cheerleaders are getting tuned up to the football game, but that's what's up above there is the wrestling mezzanine. They were not. 